Welcome to our discussion of the pilot episode of Amazon's new series, The Tick. So as always, um, we'll give uh, some grades for the episode. We'll discuss it very briefly, so spoiler free, and then we'll go into a, um, a more detailed spoiler filled discussion. So what do you think? Um, I was not really familiar with the original tick. I didn't watch okay. it. I think I maybe watched a couple of episodes. I yeah. knew of it and knew that it was kind of a cult classic right. um, and was a big fan of Patrick Warburton uh, to begin with. Yeah, um, sure. So, I mean, I think this one seemed to be relatively true to the kind of campiness and, and um, kind of zaniness of the original. I'd probably give it a B plus. Okay. Um, I was expecting Patrick Warburton to be in it. So I was a little disappointed um, in terms of that, but I, I get he's getting older, you know, whatever. Um, but I did, I mean, I did enjoy it. Yeah, so I would give this one a B. I wanted to like it a lot more than I actually did. Um, I read some of the original comics back in college, um, late 80s, early 90s. Um, in that time frame, I saw most of the episodes of the original 2001 series. I think there were only about nine of them. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed that one. Um, this one, you know, it's a half hour episode. It's a pilot. Amazon is using this as a test run to see what the audience response is. They actually yeah. are looking for feedback. So if you have seen this episode, um, it's worthwhile giving Amazon some feedback on it. Um, I thought the tone was maybe a little... Um, a little darker than, it was than I had expected. I, I wanted it to be funnier in a campy sort of direction than I actually got. I I hear so. what you're saying. I mean, I think, so if we look at the story itself, yeah. um, we've got this kind of, uh, I don't want to say middle age, like 20-ish years old uh, guy. We're going to spoiler you here. Yeah, where spoilers yeah. are yeah. coming. 20-ish uh, year old guy who is kind of obsessed with the evil superheroes. We... We yeah. uh, do a little bit of a backtrack, show like how superheroes came to be, and right. um, that super uh, who supposed Superion, Superion who yeah. supposedly took out um, the villain, the the the, the, the arch villain of the Tick universe, yeah. uh, the Terror, who um, we saw um, ultimately killing Arthur's or causing the death of Arthur's father when yeah. he was a child. I mean, it was an accident. Uh, you know, the, the, the five superheroes that had been fighting, uh, the terror, they, their ship was shot down. It ended up landing on, uh, the protagonist's father. Yeah. Um, and then the terror kind of, uh, comes terrorized out, him. terrorized yeah. this little kid. Child. Yeah. Um, everybody knows him as the kid from the photo cause it was on a time magazine cover. Right. And he has spent essentially his entire life, both in psychiatric care, which is totally understandable. Yeah. Sure. Um, as well as, uh, uh, you know, seeking out uh, the terror because he doesn't really believe that Superion killed him. Right, right. So, so that's kind of the overarching thing. And then, right. you know, at, cut to present day, he's uh, he's eavesdropping on these like kind of evil doers at the docks. Uh, why does everything always seem to happen at the it's, docks? It's always at, at the docks, at some abandoned <laughs> warehouse, um, and Arthur has tracked down some. You know, kind of villainous uh, lieutenants and henchmen. There's the the female lieutenant who's um, missing an eye, um, and as he's kind of staking the place out, he encounters the tick for the first time. So he uh, he eventually looks up the tick. The tick doesn't exist in the super's database, which leads me as a viewer to kind of think like, is the tick in his imagination? Is the tick like just really a figment? figment of his imagination or his alter ego or whatever um the tick eventually like ends up uh kind of showing up at, at his apartment well first fighting off all of the evil well, doers yeah, and like sure. blowing up the docks right, and, right. and taking with him a like super suit um which will become uh his super suit yeah yeah so uh, if you're a fan of the original series, um, and I, because that became a, a cult classic, I know that that this show still has a lot of fans out sure. there. Um, you should know um, Ben Edlund, creator of The Tick. He created this. Uh, he wrote this pilot episode. Patrick Warburton is very much involved um, in the production of this. He is uh, the producer. Um, so all this is happening with you know the original folks. Um, and the creators say so, 
Um, but it does have all new, all new actors. And to my mind, uh, kind of a, I, I don't want to say a different take on the, the, the tick universe, but it's not one that at least in this pilot episode lends itself toward a lot of kind of slapstick humor or campiness. Yeah, I mean, I think that the Tick himself has kind of a campiness to his, you know... Yeah, by, by definition. His yeah. bravado, his sure. kind of superhero bravado is a little campy. Yeah. But again, it, you know, there is this almost undercurrent of, like, is he real or is he in the imagination of this this guy who's seriously over-medicated, um, has, like, kind of delusions, but that he may not be crazy. You know, you can be paranoid and still have, like, actual people coming after yeah. you or actual bad things happen. So, you know, he may be paranoid, and but this may be a figment of his imagination. And I'm wondering, you know, is that part of the original no, I mean the 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 tick. It, it's always been very clear that I mean, if you take what the tick says and does at face value, I mean, he he is a crazy person. I mean, he, he's obsessed with um, destiny and his role in the universe, his role as a hero. He's he's driven to perform heroic acts, and he doesn't have a firm grip on reality. Um, I haven't followed the tick's later continuity enough to to know enough about the origins and backstory of the tick because he's always at least to me always been a bit of a mysterious kind of figure who kind of emerged full-blown um as this kind of heroic figure kind of comes on the scene um but in this new version arthur is definitely this kind of psychologically troubled and damaged um kind of character with a tragic backstory and um we we see him as um, a kind of a sad figure yeah. in, in this in this pilot. Um, we see his sister, Dorothy, or Dot. Um, Which, it, the actress who plays uh, his sister... Valerie Curry. Uh, she was also in the following, and it's a, little, uh, it's a little bit of a disconnect and a little creepy to see this person who was yeah. kind of a serial killer in the following, you know, now being an EMT and, like, the perky stable sister... Uh, yeah, but so, if you haven't seen the following, like it totally doesn't matter. To right, you. that that wouldn't bother. I I, I loved her <laughs> as Emma in the following. Um, she had kind of red hair, like a, a page boy or pixie cut, mm -hmm. um, longer blonde hair. So she she looks just different enough that it that it's okay. Sure. Um, but yeah, she she's she's good and and interesting in this. Um, but in terms of the story, I mean, were, would I support them making a, a, a full series yeah. of it? I think it would make a really interesting series. And, you know, and, and if you if you end up watching it and thinking that it would make a good series, definitely reach out to them. Because this is something that Amazon has been doing, um, right. at, you know, putting together pilots and then, you know, testing them out with their viewers and seeing yeah. what flies and what doesn't. And th those things that fly, they, they get made. Sure. Um, which is really nice. I mean, kind of a direct to consumer model of deciding what pilots are going to make it and what aren't. Yeah. Um, so if you're interested in it, definitely watch it and definitely give them some feedback. Um, I think that there's, I think it has some potential. Um, yeah. I'd like to see more episodes of it. So I think I would support, you know, sure. pushing forward to, to get more episodes. Um, I would hope that that would, they would do a little bit more with the, the additional characters mm -hmm. like Batman. Well, um, yeah, sure. that were in the original because he was, I mean, of the few episodes that I watched, he was kind of one of my favorite characters. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I think, I think it's, I think it's worth watching. Yeah, I, I would definitely agree with you. Um, I want to see where it's going. I gave it a B. I didn't love this pilot episode. Um, I thought the effects were really good. Um, I love the fact that, you know, the, the creator of, of the tick and Patrick Warburton are involved in the production. I think it's got a lot of potential. I, I'd like to see them fiddle with the tone a little bit. Mm -hmm. it, I, I don't think that they struck quite the right tone with this episode. I wanted more humor and less of the dark aspects of things. Um, I do want to see where they're going with it. You know, it, it's interesting because when they when they did the original in 2001, there were very few to maybe no successful superhero TV shows that looked decent and not cheesy in, in a bad kind of way um but in the last 15 years we've seen a lot of really successful really good looking um superhero shows so it's totally possible to do that with um with cgi and good writing so um i want to see where they go with this 
Um, cause we're also riding on the coattails of, you know, this kind of a post Deadpool world where we have supers that are, you know, maybe, maybe a little on the R rated side, but supers who are not played straight where you've got great action, great effects, but you've also got humorous dialogue. And I think they could go that direction yeah. without maybe the R rated humor. Um, Absolutely. With the tick. I, th right. I think there's the, there's real potential for that. Sure. It's, it's just kind of like funny enough and campy enough and not as serious as something like arrow or, yeah, yeah. um, or, or even or the, the, flash. The, the flash. Yeah. Um, to really work as kind of a, a darker comedy. Um, right. but I don't want to see it go too, too dark. Yeah. Definitely. Anyway, check it out, um, and if Absolutely. you like it, let Amazon know. Okay. Thanks. Thanks.